Welcome to today's segment. I am the Godfather and we're going to talk about Lox's 1917 signet ring. Let's get unloxed. Typically, uh, signet rings, historically speaking, were for uh, kings and rulers to uh, signet or stamp or notarize a document or something that they were saying so that um, when the decree or, or the parchment or document was um, being read or given out, it carried validation. Today, obviously, we don't use signet rings in that way anymore. Um, rings are typically worn because of status or style. And specifically, the 1917 signet ring by Locks, uh, we went with, obviously, a, a statement. So when you wear this, you're making a statement. We're going to get into the design in a little bit here. Okay, let's get into the specs of the 1917 signet ring. So first of all, of course, it is made of 925 sterling silver. It's a precious metal, um, which is just uh, makes it valuable, of course. But also, it's dipped in black rhodium. The black rhodium will... Uh, Functionality speaking, it's going to protect that silver, but also uh, it's just going to kind of, I don't want to say um, lose its luster, but it kind of dulls it, the finish a little bit. It makes the finish a little bit um, not as shiny, so you're not walking around with a, you know, a lot of bling on your fingers. Um, and I did that for a reason because I don't want to draw a whole lot of attention to the signet ring when you're wearing it, but also... Um, you know, we want it there and visible and, and it's still going to make a statement. So this, the 925 sterling silver mixed or dipped with uh, the black rhodium is just a really great combination, which is why we did that. The 1917 signet ring can be worn on any finger. I prefer the pinky, but it's totally preference. So whatever finger that you want to wear the ring on, it's totally up to you. Uh, this ring was handcrafted in Ephesus. Really cool story about the jeweler, the master jeweler who, who crafted these rings. He liked the design so much that he actually kept one for himself before, uh, you know, fulfilling my order and shipping that out, which I thought that was pretty cool. Let's talk about the design of Lox's 1917 signet ring. So it was designed in-house, which is really cool, of course, makes it special and unique. You're not going to get this anywhere else. Um, but it was also inspired, if you will, by, of course, World War I, but I got inspired after seeing the movie 1917, directed by Sam Mendes. Highly recommend that. Check that out if you haven't seen it. Highly, highly recommend that movie. But of course, let's go back to World War I, which is what inspired that film to begin with as well. So this ring, um, you're gonna, we're going to start with the outside here. Um, you're going to see uh, matching poppies on each side of the ring. Um, if you're familiar with the poem In Flanders Fields by John McRae, uh, that's kind of what inspired the poppies. And if you're a veteran, of course, uh, the poppy has a has a deeper meaning to you, um, although you don't need to be a veteran to understand the, the meaning behind red poppies, which is, you know, sacrifice and, and blood and, um, you know, just all of that that envelops uh, going to war for your nation. Uh, next thing we have are two cross trench knives, and they are the Mark I trench knives. Um, they didn't see a whole lot of action in World War I, more in World War II, but... Um, the U.S. M1917 was actually the original trench knife, uh, but uh, depicted on the, the ring are the Mark I trench knives. They're crossed and surrounded by barbed wire. Uh, barbed wire was actually invented to pen livestock, but obviously with the outbreak of World War I and trench warfare, um, they used barbed wire in a very strategic method to actually... Uh, funnel or channel troops into kill zones. Um, pretty dark stuff, um, but again, just it just kind of sheds some light on what uh, our troops went through uh, during World War I, the war to end all wars. Actually, they said if you were to unravel all the barbed wire used in uh, World War I, uh, it stretches out over a million miles, which actually can wrap around the entire earth several times, which is kind of just really weird to think about, but... Um, so let that sink in, and, and that's kind of the design behind uh, Lox's 1917 signet ring. Of course, the poppies, the barbed wire, and the trench knives are all sitting in a bed of dirt and mud, which obviously um, that kind of depicts or tributes um, what our troops went through as far as discomfort goes. Uh, you know, just because they weren't getting shot at or shooting does not mean that they were having a 
good time in their downtime. You know, they, the trench warfare was not glamorous at all. And even when the shells were not exploding, they were still living miserable lives. And then moving to the inside of the ring, we have our registered trademark, uh, Lox and Company Limited, which is Stay Sharp, Stay Savage. And of course, the 925 is stamped in there, which validates that the ring you're wearing is in fact 925 sterling silver. So, you know, when you purchase this or when you wear this, it actually um, just pays homage and tribute to the sacrifice, duty, and honor that envelops all of our allies that served in World War I. Today's quote of the day is, we are dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Fields. And that is from the poem In Flanders Fields by John McRae. I hope you enjoyed today's segment on Unlocked. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, I'm curious to know, uh, what do you think of 1917 Signet Ring design here by Lox Company Limited? Uh, comment below if you would do something different to design it or if uh, you just like it the way it is. I'd really love to hear back from you. Uh, they are limited sizes, limited stocks, and at the time of this video, I think we are half stock remaining. So if you really do enjoy the design, please go to our website, check it out, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Remember, stay sharp, stay savage. Godfather out.